All right, fourth graders, here's our fourth lesson in chapter four. Our objective is, I can divide numbers through thousands by whole numbers through ten. All right, let's take a look at what that might mean. So, Dustin is packing apples in gift boxes. Each gift box holds four apples. How many boxes can Dustin pack with 120 apples. So really what they're asking us, right? 120 apples divided by four apples in each box, right? How many boxes can he pack? So when you see a problem like this, 120 divided by four, this might remind you of multiplying by tens and hundreds, right? You think of the basic fact first, right? The basic fact I see here is 12 divided by four. I know 12 divided by 4, 4, 8, 12, right, is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So now, how many zeros do I see? 1. So really, my answer is going to be 30, right? Bring that 0 right over there. Now think in your head, okay, to check 4 times 30. 4 times 3 is 12. Bring the 0 over, 120. I'm right. Let's look at another word problem. You don't have to write all of this down. Remember, just the important information. Peyton has seven times as many pennies as she did three months ago. If she has 210 pennies now, how many did she have three months ago? So right now she is 210. She wants to find out, right, if she put it into seven piles representing each, representing, you know, three months ago, right, finding out how many she started with, seven times is less, you do 210 divided by seven. What's our basic fact? I see 21 divided by seven. Okay, I think to myself, you know, 7 times what gives me 21? 3. Right? Now, see how many zeros? There's one zero. So really, my answer would be 30. Well, look at that. To check, divisor times quotient. Let's see if it gives us our dividend. 7 times 3 is 21. Bring that zero over, right? Just like we did up here. Yep, I got my dividend. We're right. All right, let's do some quick practice here. So again, basic fact. I see 36 divided by 4. I think to myself, mm, 4 times what gives me 36? Oh, yeah, 9, right? So 9, how many zeros? One. Think in your head. Four times 90. Am I going to get my dividend? Well, four times nine is 36. Bring over the zero. Good. I got my dividend. It's right. Okay. How about the next one? I'm going to change my color so you can make sure they're different. What basic fact do I see? Well, I don't want to do two divided by five. That wouldn't work. Let's do 20 divided by five. Twenty divided by five. Five times what gives me twenty? Four, right? So it'd be four. How many zeros did I not use? Two. One, two. Check my work. Divisor times my quotient. Five times four is twenty. How many zeros? Two. One, two. Did I get my dividend? Yes, I did. Last quick practice here. 44,500 divided by 9. Basic fact, 45 divided by 9. 9 times what gives me 45? 5, right? 
So my quotient would be five. How many zeros? Two. One, two. Check my work. Divisor times quotient should give me my dividend. Let's find out. Nine times five is 45. How many zeros? Two, one, two. Is that my dividend? Yes, it is. There we go. So, short video tonight. Feel free to rewatch the quick, quick practice or the second word problem. It, it was a little trickier, right? Here are your practice problems. At an assembly, 180 students sit in nine equal rows. How many students sit in each row? And then the second one, Hillary can read 560 words in seven minutes. How many words can Hillary read in one minute? All right, see you tomorrow.